everyone, it's Good So Nurse, and so what this channel is really going to be about is a lot of curly hair things. As you can see, I have curly hair. I mean, <laughs> it, for information, it's 3A and it's high porosity, so in case you have a similar hair type, I can recommend products to you. Yay! But what this channel is going to be a lot of curly hair things, beauty things, but like we'll do other things too, like tags, and maybe I'll take you guys out shopping with me, who knows? But, um, so for the first video today, I'm going to be doing, um, first impressions of three products that I got at Samples with my Beauty Brands order recently. And so the first one that I'm going to do is the AG Hair Cosmetics Moisture and Shine Fast Food Sulfate Free Shampoo. That's a long name. But anyway, this is it. So, I... I actually bought the liter size of this during Beauty Brain's liter sale, which I think is still going on. For those of you who would like to order something, I'm not being paid by them, I swear. Um, I just, I really like their products. So, but I tried this for the first time, and like I said, I ordered the liter size. And I really like this. Like, it's supposed to be a massively moisturizing cleanser. I wouldn't say that it necessarily moisturized, but it definitely didn't strip my hair. So, like I said, it wasn't moisturized, but it wasn't stripped either, and it actually felt really clean. So I really, really like this sulfate-free shampoo, and I'm definitely glad that I bought the liter size, because I just kind of went on a whim <laughs> and bought this. Um, so that's that. And the, my second one, I've been wanting to try for a really long time, like a really long time. And it's the Diva Curl One Condition. And I would say that I wouldn't buy it, but I'd use it in a pinch if I really had to. Um, this is really expensive. Like, for an 8-ounce bottle of it at my local Target, it's like $18. So I definitely wouldn't buy it by choice. But, I mean, I used it, and the thing that really got me was the smell. It, ugh, the smell. I can't even pinpoint what it actually smelled like, but it was really nauseating. But as for actually doing the cleansing or conditioning, it didn't do that great for me. Um, as always, your mileage may vary with these products, but this is just my opinion. Um, I didn't like it. It felt like my curls were just clumped into one curl when I tried to detangle. It was okay for detangling, but my normal Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Conditioner is a lot better with detangling. Like, I honestly like the Herbal Essences a lot better than I like this. And so, yeah, uh, it was okay. The last thing that I have is the, I hope I'm saying this right, Ahava Active Dead Sea Mineral Mineral Botanic Velvet Cream Wash and it's in the hibiscus and fig scent and I mean I liked it. It says that it's su not sulfate free but it has SLS and SLES free which are pretty harsh sulfates but it's still got sulfate in it. Um, the second ingredient is ammonium lauryl sulfate which is a gentler sulfate but not it, it's still a sulfate so it's really going to cleanse. Now for my body I really don't care for my hair. I care a lot but um, yeah, it was okay. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily buy it, but I'd use it. So yeah, those are my first impressions of, of those three products, and stick around because there's going to be a lot more videos on this channel. Bye!